Hello everybody, it's that college football guy here with another video, well, another uh, subscriber video idea. This one's from Michael Bias about the Ultimate G5. By the way, if you have an idea for a video that you want to throw out here, a uh, realignment idea or a video idea, mention it in the comments. I mean, it's been, that's where a lot of these ideas are coming from. And if I do like your idea, I will put it up here and I will shout you out on it. So, Michael Bias' idea was what happens if we had a best of G5? The Ultimate G5 Conference, the best of all the schools put together into one conference. What would it look like? Uh, there's several versions of this. I guess we can call this version one. Um, he thought 20 to 24. I'm going to do the first one at 16. Now, this first version, I did it because of its G5, because it's less money. I did it west-east. I did divisions for the simple fact that Eight teams in the West, you do an eight-game conference schedule for a G5. Though we have four available to do at-larges with, with power teams in order to get your ratings up. But you have seven in your division you play, and then you play one against the other division, so that limits travel. I think that would probably be the best way about doing this. But both are going to have their own issues. But let's go into the conferences here, and let's see what we got here. Uh, conference USA. I need a pen and paper to write this stuff down. <laughs> Conference USA, we got Liberty, New Mexico State, Jacksonville State, Western Kentucky, Middle Tennessee State, Louisiana Tech, Sam Houston State, UTEP, and FIU. The only one out of there I think is be worthy is Liberty. Off the jump. I think that's pretty much it for that conference. You any other ideas? Note it down here. The Pac-12 is technically a G5 conference right now because they're not in a power conference, so Oregon State and Washington State would both be in. Um, like I said, if they end up going in the ACC, well, I'll redo this. The American you have Tulane, UTSA, Memphis, South Florida, Navy, Army, North Texas, UAB, Florida Atlantic, which is FAU, Charlotte, Tulsa, Temple, and East Carolina. I'll let you pick which ones you want out of that one. I'm going to do mine at the end here so you can get an idea. Um, the MAC. We got Miami of Ohio, Ohio, Bowling Green, Buffalo, Akron, Kent State, Toledo, Northern Illinois, Eastern Michigan, Western Michigan, Ball State, and Central Michigan. A lot of Michigans. Mountain West Conference. We got Boise State, San Jose State, UNLV, Air Force, Wyoming, Fresno State, Utah State, Hawaii, Colorado State, Nevada, New Mexico, and San Diego State. Um, the Sun Belts. You've got James Madison, Appalachian State, Coastal Carolina, Old Dominion, Georgia State, Marshall, Georgia Southern, Troy, Texas State, South Alabama, Arkansas State, Louisiana, Southern Mississippi, and Louisiana Monroe, ULM. A lot of damn schools. Um, I'm not going to count um, UConn or UMass, the FBS G5 independents. I'm not counting them. Um, UMass is only independent for them much, lo much longer. I mean, look at the candidates. Like I said, Conference USA Liberty was the only one. You maybe New Mexico State, but if you look at this, this last past two seasons with Jerry Kill, was the two best seasons they've had in the better part of two decades, and he's gone. So, former UNLV head coach Tony Sanchez was the offensive coordinator. He took over there. I don't know if they're gonna be able to continue that. Like I said, the Pac-12, Oregon State and Washington State are technically G5, so I, they have to be in this. These are the best two. Uh, with Liberty, the American, um, if this was based upon media rights, you look at Tulane, you look at Memphis and South Florida, the ACC wants rights, and, da -da -da -da, and UAB is a big market. There's Army and Navy and Charlotte and, and Miami. I mean, kind of funny about this. I was making the joke about all these schools that are in Michigan. A lot of them are in Ohio. And Miami of Ohio, Ohio, and Toledo have been the ones who've been winning the most games in this conference for a while. Northern Illinois has been creeping up too. Been a while though since they've been good. Um, so that's something to consider. I'm not going to give away my picks just yet. Mountain West Conference, we had Boise State and UNLV in the championship game. San Jose State. We you got Air Force. So I mentioned Army and Navy. You got Fresno. You got Utah State. You got Colorado State. You're going to go basketball with Nevada and New Mexico and then throw in San Diego State. Um, the Sun Belt, you know, James Madison, Appalachian State, and Coastal Carolina have been the talk. 
about all of this. Um, Troy's the one who's been winning the conference, though. Last few years. So, um, it's an interesting thing. So, what did I do? Like I said, I did, this is, this is version one. I'm, I'm debating on a version two, which would be, uh, I'll get into that at the end of this. Let's not get ahead of this. I did West East. Now you can criticize on this all you want, but I did West East because of travel. And there's not that many good schools in the West. And that, that's part of the problem. But if you're going to do this for travel purposes, either you do it all East Still not going to get everybody. Or you do a West East because I'm looking at this as like. Ugh. So, who would I do? Well, the West, the Western, Eastern divisions. In the West, Oregon State and Washington State. I did UTSA, Texas San Antonio. They've been winning double digit games for years. So that makes sense for them. And I end up taking five from the Mountain West. I took Boise State, not a surprise. Took San Diego State, not a surprise. Took UNLV, big market, not a surprise. They need to keep winning. Fresno State has had a tradition of winning, slipped up a little bit last year. And I took Utah State. Same was said Colorado State. Colorado State hasn't been good in over a decade. Utah State has been to a lot of bowl games. I debated between Utah State and North Texas and also with Air Force. Um... But this is version one. There's other versions of this to do. With the East, I did Liberty out of Conference USA. No surprise there. I did Tulane in Memphis. I didn't do South Florida, but I did do Toledo. Because Toledo's won the MAC quite a few years. This is a winning program. This is a, this one is basically kind of kind of sort of on winning, but this is like version one. I'm gonna do multiple versions of this because it's like we're also in flux. But Toledo, James Madison, Appalachian State, Coastal Carolina, and Troy. So, like I said, base this kind of on this. You could do brand. I mean, you want to do one on brand name. You want to do this. I mean, like, I had debated on who would I kick out of here to make it east west work and bring in Army, Navy, and Air Force. Like, okay, fine. I kick out one of the west. That's fine. Which two am I kicking out of the east to get Army and Navy in? Like, you're going to kick out Troy, who's won 11 to 10 games the last few years. You're going to kick out Toledo, who's been double-digit winning games. Coastal Carolina is the one who's actually underperformed. I mean, it's, like I said, it's a way of doing this. So, it, it, like I said, to recap it here, West, Oregon State, Washington State, UTSA, Boise State, UNLV, Fresno State, Utah State, San Diego State. The East will be Liberty, Tulane, Memphis, Toledo, James Madison, Appalachian State, Coastal Carolina, and Troy. You get Oregon, Washington, Texas, Idaho, Nevada, two in California, one in Utah. Kind of centralized. In the East, you're going to have Liberties in Virginia, Louisiana, Tennessee, Ohio, Virginia, again with James Madison, Appalachian State's in North Carolina, Coastal Carolina's in South Carolina, and Troy's in Alabama. Um, I think it kind of works. This is the one I did. Um, you may feel differently about this. Um, the other version I was thinking about for version two to do a version on down the road here was 18 teams, no divisions, but it would be a pod type system. It would be a nine game conference schedule with 18 teams. You have three six-team pods for scheduling. You play five, or you do it 18 teams with five guaranteed rivals, and you play two from one of the one pods and two from the other. You know, so that way you play everybody in the West, and I can, you could change the West schools, maybe take out a, a, a Utah State and a Fresno, and that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can add, you know, you can add... Um, Arm, you, you, know, you, you can make this work. You can mess with this a little bit. But um, that's my idea. And that's the idea for version 2, which is coming out. So let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you haven't done already, smash the like button. Hit the thumbs up. Trust me, it helps. Helps the algorithms. If you ever see more people comment on the video, that's also very important. 
that gets the interaction up. That gets them to know, hey, somebody's actually paying attention to this so I can go on there because I know when the interaction's up because the views go up and I can start seeing commercials. That means it gets watched a lot. So that's the big key. So like, comment, share the video if you want to. And if you haven't done it already, check out some of the other videos I've done. If you like it, subscribe to the channel. Um, we get a few more subscribers on the way to 600, slowly but surely on that way to 1,000. Get there one of these days. Um, like I said, it's this is a, a work in progress. This is version one, the Ultimate G5 Conference, version one. We're gonna go work through this and do other versions. If you have ideas for the other versions, um, how you do yours, you wanna put that down in the comments, go ahead. Uh, I might, I'm probably shy out a couple of them for ideas here, and maybe we can all come up with a consensus one that would work, because, like I said, I did mine based upon travel, because the G5s aren't making that much money, and there's more schools in the East, but you can, you know, you can change around the East, but the West, there isn't that many to try to limit travel. When you swap out Utah State for Air Force or Colorado State or whatever, the like, West doesn't have that many options. But let me know what you think in the comments. Again, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, state troopers here on the interstates in Michigan and Ohio. I'll be hopefully getting back to Tennessee today. I won't be getting home, unfortunately, because there is too much, too many miles between here and home. I won't have enough time to get there. So I'll be getting in Saturday morning, which means I'm back out Monday morning. Um, so a lot of stuff is going to be going down on Saturday. I might get a video on Saturday. I might not. Um, I'm hoping to get one done on Saturday because there's a lot of stuff that's going to be happening family-wise on Sunday, on Easter Sunday, um, and then back out on the road on Monday. But then again, we got a lot of this stuff to talk about in college football and a lot of things going on. Notre Dame saying, we're staying independent. Which may be the best thing for college football for now. So again, thanks everybody for watching. Be safe out there, and please, be good to each other.